Hi friends, observe this first. Now, you may observe that it is floating on this uh, bowl of water. Now, you may also see some uh, uh, water particles or some layer of water which is trying to climb up the piece of polythene. Now, look carefully as I try to pull this upwards. Just have an eye on that. Now, as I pull it upwards, I may feel I am feeling a force which is taking it down. Now, you may close now see the interface of the polythene, this piece of polythene and the water. And as I push upwards, you may see the thin uh, groove present here. You may see it again. All right. Now, so this experiment will help us to understand our lecture of surfactant. Now, let us roll on to that. First, we'll clear a basic doubt first. I'm taking this lecture from the basics. This is a part of concept video series. Now, consider this uh, as a table and this is an object. This is resting on this table as you may see and it is in the position of rest. All right. Obviously, all forces are balanced here and this table is ex exerting an equal and opposite force. Now, coming back to this bowl. Now, this is depicting that polythene which I put uh, on the water surface. And now I am taking an enlarged image of this. Now, what can you see? You may see some exerting, stretching force out there. Look closely. You may see some stretching forces out there which is trying to pull this rim in a form of a, a part of a circular arc. Now, taking a uh, little easier analogy, we may see here a part of balloon and just imagine the surface of balloon of uh, some small amount and you may you may see that the balloon surface is stretched on all sides equally <clears throat> excuse me now you may think that obviously the air inside it is exerting a pressure and that's completely right thinking now why i am uh, why I am discussing this because this small concept will help us in understanding the surface tank uh, phys role in pulmonary physiology, which is very uh, take, which is very take, uh, superficially taken by many students. Now let us roll on to this. Now we have a alveolar chamber. This is alveolar. <coughs> excuse me alveolar chamber or, alveolar, or you may call it air sac batter now we know that as we inhale the air it exerts pressure now i'm not going into the diffusing uh, mechanism we just discuss about the surfactant mechanism which is a which is chemically most part of this is lipid now we can see the air and membrane interface also, we can see the film of water molecule out there. Now, relate this with our early experiment or analogy with this now. And also, I will help you in this. Now, you may also, I'm, I have shown you the section which we are interested in. Here, you can see this rolling molecules which are surfactant. All right. Actually, these have both a hydrophilic part and hydrophobic part. You may see that this would be obviously the hydrophilic part and that would be hydrophobic part. Now, what the problem is, what, why we are producing the surfactant? The problem out there is that uh, alveolar is like just like a balloon. It is obviously uh, we know that it is made up of elastin fiber, elastin protein, which are elastic in nature. Now, if they are very elastic, then we have to, you may notice that I have to stress a more to take a little amount of air. 
now a body is great a body is produce a mechanism to overcome that exerting force that is done by surface tent now it the main role of this it lowers surface tension of water now what all i have uh, discussed is that um, hidden concept of surface tension now coming back to this you may see that this is a film of water all right now this is floating all forces are balanced now if you take a thin uh, if you take a line in this and you will uh, just coming back to here if you take a line drawn on the surface of water it is equally pushed opposite and on opposite sides that's why it is an equilibrium same like here it is a membrane which is elastic in nature it is pushed and pulled and now it is creating internal forces which against which we have to exert the pressure when we inhale we actually uh, expand these compartments so that air can come inside now coming back to the real point what surface tension do is does you may see here i have shown the degree of stretching now you may see here that here we have low surface tension molecule actually this is just a schematic representation and this is just a, a basic way to understand this mechanism now you may see that here we can show uh, see the lesser radius of curvature i mean to say that it will give rise to a small circle and this will rise to a big circle and likewise you can understand later on <coughs> now here we can now as we can easily understand why it has low surface tension because this is a stretch membrane all right and it will try to uh, take the minimum space in the uh, area so that it can have minimum energy which is uh, which all system tries to attain minimum energy maximum stability now as we go beyond we can see the high surface tension because now it has lower the surface tension of the membrane so that it has a less tendency to stretch now it is the main crux of the surface tension mechanism role in our lungs what it does is that it lowers the surface uh, it lowers the surface tension of uh, membrane hence we have to exert less force